Today, we're taking a look at this week's most viral Minecraft hacks that will literally change the way you play the game. We might have actually found a legitimate way to duplicate diamonds, so make sure you watch until the very end to find out. These are some really funny and cool 1.17 glitches. Let's see what's going on. Wait, what? <laughs> they like spin. You can actually get oh, this one again. All you have to do is break a block, put lava in it, and then replace the lava with glow lichen. The lava will soon turn uh? water. Yo, there's a lot going on here. Let's go and check this out real quick. So apparently, if you spawn in lily pads like this and you grab axolotls, I still am botching how I say it every time. Axolotl axolotls close enough shark when you spawn them on top they will spin <laughs> why this reminds me of a tamed wolf on slime blocks it's just one of those features that doesn't really make sense but it's also really funny to look at if you're having a bad day well hopefully this lizard fish will cheer your day up just a little bit because it's currently spinning doing 360s on a lily pad okay so listen the next hack i want to check out guys you guys have been spamming me saying that this one actually does work and in this tiktok it says it literally works another form of way to spawn water in the nether we tried this in the previous video and it didn't work however we did find a method that did work so be sure to go watch that video if you want to figure out how to get water in the nether okay so apparently you get lava first and you, then you need to get glow glow lichens like this now you place you're supposed supposedly you place lava and then you place glow lichens below it but then it gets rid of the lava which is what's confusing to me oh wait there we go okay so now is it supposed to turn to water it's so weird it's it's so weird it, it, it i seriously feel like that guy on tiktok is just trying to farm some view ma'am why are they always doing this to us Okay, now this next one is very interesting. This could be a potential way that you can actually duplicate diamond blocks in Minecraft. If this works, boy, we are about to all be millionaires together. <laughs> you can do a really weird diamond duplication glitch by spreading out all your diamonds evenly in a crafting table, except from one slot. Then use a bundle, then just look what What? Okay, that's crazy. Let's check this out. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bundle. I've, I've actually never used the bundle before, so I really don't know what to expect with this. Okay, so we have a crafting table and we need some diamonds. Okay, so if we go ahead and evenly spread them out just like this, and then we can put the bundle here. Okay, I'm so confused. Hold up. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. And then hold up. You grab the bundle and pick it up like this. Uh, I'm so confused. What? Oh, I'm so lost with this one. I literally feel like we're just getting clickbaited the whole time can they do this to us guys this no unless they must have patched it or something this glitch must have been patched because there's no way that this one still works here are some things you should know about minecraft but 99.9% .9 of the population don't even know check this out so if you build a nether portal okay right just a simple regular nether portal just like this now apparently you can actually place paintings on the inside of the portal like this very random and weird doesn't do anything other than this but it kind of looks kind of cool you could deck out the entire portal with paintings all the way around it so now instead of having another portal you have a painting portal random feature that's cool but hey <laughs> it works these are six simple hacks that you can do in minecraft okay oh wow okay i didn't know that apparently if you smell rotten flesh you'll actually get leather out of it i had no idea that was a thing uh, because it isn't <laughs> <laughs> got <he. laughs> Apparently, if you have a Frostwalker enchantment on your boots, you can actually walk all in the nether and turn all the lava into obsidian. All right, so first we got to just get ourselves some boots. There we go. We're going to call these the Frosty Flakes Walker Men's. <laughs> this is so random. Oh, yo, if this actually works, bro, I will freak out. This is literally insta bridging. This would just be incredible. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wait, maybe I have to be in survival mode for it? Oh, nope. <laughs> man we are on just such an unlucky spree today for tiktoks but this next one i'm confident this one will work this is how you can actually go into the void and not take any damage at all check this out here's how you can chill in the void without taking any damage first you need to find a three by three area of bedrock in okay so we have to, to find that three by first three thing you want to do is place an obsidian block okay then you got to break the bedrock okay i already know where this is going i know how to pull this off okay so first things first we have to look for uh well we have to dig down really really far you got to go all the way down to bedrock look for a three by three little area down near bedrock somewhere uh somewhere that's not engulfed in lava ideally okay this actually might be perfect okay so let's just go all the way down to bedrock okay cool so we have our three by three in bedrock obviously i am in creative mode but this this hack is meant for people in survival mode so we are we are gonna break the bedrock legit we're gonna need these following items obsidian a piston tnt a lever a trap door and any block of your choice i'm just gonna use stone it's place an obsidian block place a piston place a tnt above the okay. piston temporary block above the obsidian lever on the temporary block tnt underneath the lever okay. and a trapdoor on the obsidian block then holding a piston go into the trap door oh, yeah. activate the lever oh, i know exactly and spam click left click obsidian piston tnt on top tnt here temporary block lever right there and a trap door right here okay so we have to spam piston right on the corner right here you got to be really quick with this one this might take a couple tries here we go three two one and Come on. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I messed it up. Attempt number two, here we go. And three, two. Oh. Oh, did I do it? Yes, I think I did it. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, so now that we've got this, uh, apparently you have to do this entire process for all of these three blocks. So I'm just gonna make it simple. <laughs> Once you've got all this bedrock dug out here, this is where things get interesting. Nine bedrock blocks. Next, on top of a temporary block, place a chicken, remove the block beneath it, put it on a lead, then put it on a fence. After this, place a temporary block on top and then four. I'm always so curious. Who comes Break up with the block these hats? in the middle and then place a slab on each corner of the hole. Once you've done this, place a boat on each of the slabs and push them as far into the middle as you can. Then, with all the boats in the four corners of the hole, break the slabs underneath them. I recommend switching on hitboxes for this one. After that, you can break those four fences on top. And there you go, here you have a void platform. If you're wondering how to get out, you can just use ender pills or chorus fruit. Dirt. Okay, chicken. Chicken falls. Oh, pfft. chicken. Chicken falls in the void. Lead to a fence, just like that. Okay, we got that. And then you want to place a dirt block on top, just like this, and then put fences all the way around it like this. There we go, we've got that. Go ahead and spawn some boats in, and you want to put them in all four corners just like this. Uh, oh my gosh, chicken, seriously, dude. <laughs> Okay, now we want to try and get him as close as we possibly can to the center. Uh, okay, that should be good. We literally want to try and get him as close to the center as possible. This chicken is adding extra weight and it's not, it's not necessary. Chicken die! <laughs> now, apparently all you have to do from this point is break the slabs underneath the boats. And apparently all the boats are just going to float in the void. Let's try this out. Three, two, one. Okay, we have to be very careful that I don't hit the actual boat. Okay, there's one. It didn't fall. It wasn't too, it wasn't far enough on the slab. Maybe if I get another one. Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, what? Yo, no way. No way. There's a second one. Yo, let's go. Third one. Oh, my God. Yo, no way. Yes. No way. And ladies and gentlemen, you've officially just made your own little hangout spot in the void. Of course, you can't place blocks down here, but let's be honest. Bring some ender pearls down and you'll be good. This is so freaking cool. Hey, because this one worked, everybody watching has to subscribe to my channel right now and leave a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm, okay? This is insane. Let's move on to the next one. If you have a potion of harming, check this out. Walk up to a cauldron and fill up the cauldron with all the potions of harming. Now, did you know if you actually right click an arrow on it, it turns it from a regular arrow into an arrow of harming. That's really cool. You can also do this with every other sort of potion. Right here, we have a poison potion. Now, if we right click with an arrow, boom, we get a poison arrow. Honestly, such a cool feature. Never even knew that. Bro, that's insane. Have you ever wanted to have your very own ender dragon pet? Well, this actually might be a way to pull it off. Here's how you can get a pet ender dragon in Minecraft. At the corner of the bedrock pillar, build a Ooh, 10 by 10 square out of end stone. Repeat the square on all four corners of the bedrock pillar. Then in okay. each of the squares, okay. mine two Let's down and excavate the remaining area. Then on all the squares, you want to build up 11 blocks to make a 12 block high wall. This is rather interesting. Let's give this a shot. Now, it did look like in the video that he was on Bedrock Edition, but I do want to try this on Java first. I mean, if I'm able to have my own Ender Dragon pet, like, who who wouldn't want one, right? Come on, you can't argue that one. That's pretty insane. All right, jump into the nether. All right, here we are. Okay, so, first things first, we want to go to each corner and we want to build a 10 by 10. Now that we've got our four squares here, we want to fill the bottom all with soul sand. All right, sweet. We have all of our boxes now. All we want to do is start building up. We're going to need to build walls that are 12 blocks high. Thankfully, I have world edit. <laughs> up 12, walls, end stone. The dragon's looking at me right now like, hey, please. I don't want to be your pet doggy. Okay, now we've got all these giant boxes. You probably are like, you're probably getting really tired of this. You want to see if this actually works, right? Me too. All we want to do now is go ahead and fill the entire, the entire thing with water. Yes, I know. It's going to be a lot. Oh, let's go. Yo, wait a second. Hold up. Look at this. Okay, so now the dragon is literally in the center right now. And obviously, with all the water being here, uh, the dragon can't destroy it. And it seems to me like he's almost stuck around here. Oh, wait, never mind. He's going, he's flying away now. That's actually so cool. He can't deal any damage to this. Now, apparently, the whole glitch is supposed to be the dragon is supposed to be stuck within these four boxes. Not stuck inside, but stuck around them. Uh, let's get him get him in the center one more time so we can test this out. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, kind of looks like literally a normal ender dragon, but he's okay. No, he, he's definitely not stuck like it was in that TikTok. For everybody on Bedrock, I want you guys to let me know. Does this work on Bedrock Edition? I have a funny feeling this would work on Bedrock Edition. This just is, this just seems like a glitch that only Bedrock players would get. Pretty cool, but also kind of pointless. Uh, yeah, let me know on Bedrock though. Apparently, there's a really easy way that you can also trap the wither. Let's figure this one out. We have a nice little nine by nine right here. Let's see if this actually works. I'm a little bit concerned because I feel like the sand is gonna get blown up here and a little bit destroyed, but let's just try either way. Okay, he's brewing up, he's brewing up, he's brewing up. Oh, uh, is this gonna work? Oh God, I don't know, man. Oh God, it's gonna blow up all the sand, won't it? 
Yeah, it definitely did. Okay, wow, they literally clickbaited us. <laughs> Got <it. laughs> did you know if you use shears on a mushroom, it'll actually turn them into a cow? How interesting and weird. I literally never knew that before. <laughs> like, what? That's so weird. I don't get it. Oh, what? Make sure you click the end cards that are right there to watch another video from me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.